What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Friday is here, last mods for the week, and actually we got a lot, I mean a lot of mods to go over. Okay, on consoles, we got the modular BGA system, Metal Tech TS-18-18000, Zip Disk 300, Lizard DA-38, JCB Workmax 800D, Mossy Ferguson 283 Year 2002, Mossy Ferguson 283 Brazil, Trailer by Train Cotton Bales Autoload, Heavy Metal Rollers, T088 Bell Trailer, Bucks County PA, which is a new map, AFM Santana 88, Case IH Puma Tier 4B, Lizard Homemade Plow, Large UK Chicken Shed, Cow Shed, Open Chicken Coop, Modern Farmhouse Pack I, Dairy with Farm Shop, and Cow Statue. Also, console updates we got for today. The Pack La Champagne, Fent 800 Favorite, Vulture S Series, Phoenix IT Runner Edition, and the IBAR 100. So there are all the new mods and updates for today. You know what? Let's roll that intro and let's get into these new mods. Here we go. And the first new mod to go over for today is the Metal Tech TS-18-18000. It includes these two right here. We got the TS-18 and the 18,000. Uh, 21,000 for that one, 22,000 for that. 13 slots and nine slots for that. Uh, looks like same amount of liters. Let's look at the options real quick. Uh, main color, you got any color you could think of. Design color, any color you could think of. Capacity, uh, let's see. Let me. Can I get over there? Hold on, let me uh, try to get over there. Won't let me get over there. Um, there we go. Okay, eighteen thousand. Then we got twenty-six thousand, uh, and then back to eighteen thousand. Let's see. Will Brand, Trellborg, Michelin, Nakian. Uh, let's see. Design small window, so you guys can see that small window. We got a big window out in the front, and then there it is right there. Uh, let's see attachers. We have standard attacher. We have trailer hitch, which should put a trailer hitch in the back. Yes, it does. And then back to standard again on that one. Let me see this one. I think it might be the same. 26,000. Yes, it looks like it's the same. Uh, let's see, Trailborg, Michelin, Nokian, uh, Attacher Standard, or Trailer Hitch. So yeah, pretty much is that. Oh, this one has a cover though. So that is the difference. You've got a Color Bowl one and a Standard. So the Color Bowl, let's see, probably this maybe? Nope, Um, this one? No, okay, so wait, hold on. I didn't have it selected. Okay, which one is it? Nope, it's not that one. Okay, so it's that one. It goes with the bottom right there. So it looks really good. So there is the Metal Tech TS-18-18000. Okay, and the next one right here is the Sip Disk 300. So you see right there, Sip Disk 300 SALP. 8,500, 3.0 working meters. It does require 55 horsepower. Let's see, options on this one. There is no options, but I really, really like this brand. Mainly with that cover right there. It looks really nice. So yeah, there is that. There's the SIP Disc 300. Okay, and the next one after that is right here. This is the Lizard D838. Let's see, it's 9,500. It is 15 slots, so a little bit higher on the slot count. Uh, but let's see, options on that. Oh, that's probably why, all the options. Got main color, any color you can think of. Design color, any color you can think of. And rim color, probably any color you can think of right there. Yep. Okay, let's see, Will Brand. We have Lizard 1, Lizard 2. Uh, Lizard 3, Trailborg, and then back to Lizard. Uh, let's see. I like how it looks like with that. Narrow tires, twins, and then back to Narrow. Let's see. Floor, you have plates. You have planks, plates, and planks. So plank, plates and planks. Okay, so there is that mod right there. It looks really good. I just also want to say that uh, it's a dolly trailer, and you guys know me in dolly trailers. So yes, I'm going to love this one. Okay, and the next one we have is right here. This is the JCB Workmax 800D. This is made by White Bowl Modding. Let's see, it's 15,795, holds up to 1,000 liters. It is only four slots. Uh, let's see, 16 horsepower, and looks like it can put anything in its trailer in the back. Uh, let's see, design, we have design one, design two, which, okay, just changes the front, really. I don't see any other differences, no. Uh, design one or design two, so you know what? Let's get these really quick and take a look at these in game. Okay, so there they both are right there. Uh, you know what, let's pop up the help menu so you guys can see the controls. So let's enter. Okay, so there it is right there. Man, his back is really straight. You see that? <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, let's see, map size, horn. So we do got a horn. That's a big horn for that little thing. 
Okay, and let's see. Uh, let's see what that does right there. Okay, so that actually opens and closes it. Uh, let's see. Unload here. That's actually fast animation right there. Okay, let's turn it on real quick. Also, here is the interior. Okay, so let's turn it on. Nice sounds. I don't know. Third person camera is a little bit weird to me. It's like it's centered on the person, not actually the vehicle. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. See, because look, whenever I zoom in, it centers on the guy, not the vehicle. Yeah, see, look how it went up like that. That is just really weird. Okay, uh, let's see. Check the inside. Lights, so one set of lights. Yeah, see how I have to back away right there? Two sets of lights. So one, two, two sets of lights right there. Uh, looks like it doesn't light up inside. Sounds like it has turn signals. Yes, it does. Okay, let's actually drive this and let's hear it. So remember, top speed is 32 miles an hour. Okay, I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can hear it. Okay, there we go right there. I think the top speed is wrong and it is really jerky. I think top speed's only supposed to be like 21. So we might be getting an update for this. Oh wait, no, there we go. On the road, it gets up there, see? 26, 27, 28. Hey, brake's pretty good. Okay, so that is the JCB WorkMax 800D. Okay, and the next one after that we have is the Mossy Ferguson 283 Year 2002, which is this one right here. It's the $37,000 one. Let's see, 84 horsepower, it is 43 slots, a little bit high on the slot count. Uh, let's see, engine setup, we got the 283 is aspirated, which is 85, the turbocharged, which is 96, and then back to uh, the uh, turbocharged. So let's get two of these and take a look at them in game. And here they are. Looks really, really good. I like that advanced right there. Uh, does it say the same thing on that one? Let's see. Mm, yes, it does. So this is the 283, 283 turbo right there. And this one is just the regular one. So let's get in the turbo. Uh, let's see, there it is. Let's see. Looks really good. Let's look at the interior, really nice interior. Uh, let's see, map size, horn. Yep. Okay, let's, uh, sets of lights, one, two, three, Three sets of lights. Look at the sticker. Okay, hold on. See if we can see the stickers right here. Look, do you guys see the stickers right on the side right there? If only I could just read them. All that nice little detail I like. Okay, so let's turn it on. Ooh, nice engine sounds. Lights on the dashboard. Lights right there. It sounds like, you know, like something's like rattling. like the engine sounds okay let me be quiet so you guys can actually hear the engine here we go okay there we go right there I really really like this tractor it's a really nice tractor okay let's park this really quick and the next one is right here. This is the Mossy Ferguson 283 Brazil. This one is 13,420, 86 horsepower. Let's see, it takes up 25 slots. Not, not too bad on slot count. Uh, let's see, Will Brand, we have Lizard, we have Michelin, and then back to Lizard, uh, which the Michelin is Punu Largo, is, I believe that's how you say that. Okay, so let's get this one and that one, and I'll see you in the game. Okay, and here are these two right here. These look really good too. They really outdone themselves on the Mossy Ferguson's today. They look really nice. I think this is made by the same modder right here. So uh, let's get into this one. Let's see, one, two, three, actually one, two, two sets of lights on that one. Here is the interior. Uh, let's see, horn, and that is it on that. And also, these aren't made by the same... Well, these past two aren't made by the same one. Let's see. The This one right here is made by Kanta Camigo Modding. And the last one we showed off was made by FBR Modding. I just wanted to clarify that up a minute. Okay, so uh, let's turn on the engine. Nice sound, too. Let's turn on... No lights in here. Turn signals, though. Oh, there is lights right there. Okay, I see them. Okay, make sure everything moves that moves 
Doesn't look like it. Okay, there, that moved finally. All right, I want to be quiet so you guys can hear that engine again. And there that is. 19 miles an hour is its top speed. These Mossies, I really like them today. I know I'm probably butchering the name, but there they are right there. So really, really nice. Let's get into the next mod. And here is the next one right here. This is the trailer by train cotton bales autoload, which includes these two right here. You have a front one and a rear one. Let's see 11 slots on each of these. Let's see 55,000 for the front one, 51,000 for the rear one. Holds up to nine bales a piece. And this is of course, I believe it's autoload. So, uh, so let's take a look at them right here. Let's see rim color, any color you can think of. Uh, let's go down to pink. Cause you know, we gotta do pink for chance. Oops, no, I'm not leasing that. Main color, any color. So let's just see black right there. Looks really good. Auto load, yes or no. So you can actually turn off the auto load, yes or no. Uh, wheel setup, standard, old wheels. Uh, let me go back here so you guys can see them. So there is the standard ones. There's the old wheels and then back to standard right there. I believe it's gonna probably be the same thing on here. Yes, it is. Auto load, yes. Also, this one has attachers. So you can actually put a trailer hitch on the rear of it. So that's pretty cool right there. Okay, so there is the trailer by train cots and bells auto load. Okay, and the next one we have is right here. This is the heavy metals roller right here. Uh, I believe this is, let's see, metal rollers are used to compact topsoil, break up clods and tighten the seed bed. After sowing, they compact the soil, level surface, and most importantly, ensure better moisture conditions for emergence. So with this one, I believe after you get done seeding, this, what this does is it can fertilize, but you gotta make sure in the helper menu, you turn off, you know, automatic refilling on the fertilizer. Uh, let's see, 5.0 working meters on this one, 1.8 on that one and 1.8 on that one. Let's see, 12 slots, seven slots, and seven slots on that. They do require, let's see, 90 horsepower for the bigger one and 30 horsepower for the littler ones. Let's see, options on this. You can change the main color to any color you want. Same thing with the design color. And then design, you have standard, you have warning signs, you have mud guard, and then mud guard plus warning signs, and then back to standard. With these ones, you can change the colors, probably the same, yep the same as the other ones you got fixed frame you got folding arms and you get back to fixed frame on that one let's see main color same thing design same thing and then design warning signs or standard on that okay so that is the heavy metal roller and the next one is we got another bell trailer this is the t088 bell trailer 1800 is only three slots it does require 50 horsepower on this one uh, let's see, let's go to customize. Let's see, you could change the rim color, either red, yellow, blue, or gray. Main color, blue, green, or red. Is that like a log or what is that? I think that's a rock underneath it. So pretty cool little bitty bale trailer right here. And here we go with the next one. Have you ever wanted a Land Rover in game? Well, guess what guys? We kind of have a Land Rover in Farming Simulator 19 on consoles now. This is the AFM Santana 88. $50,000, let's see, top speed is 46 miles per hour, 13 slots, 64 horsepower. Let's look at the options on this. You got main color, pretty much any color you want, and then design, you have standard, you have spare front wheel, spare wheel back, which puts you on the back. You can put a gas can, spare wheel plus gas can, and then back to standard. So let's get one like this, and then let's get, okay, can I not go back up? I guess not. Okay, let me try this now. Let's get a red one, there we go and then get this one as a standard. And there they are right there. Wow, this nice parking job, right? <laughs> okay, so here they are. Let's get inside of one real quick. Okay, let's see options on this. Let's see horn. Wow, that is loud horn. Fast, fasten tension belts. Oh, you got tension belts on top. So you can actually put something on the top and carry it. That is cool. Okay, let's see inside. This is the interior. You're on the wrong side. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Okay, so let's turn this on real quick. Nice engine sounds, top speed of 46 miles an hour. Lights, it all lights up, yes. Actually, look, look at the floorboard. He put that AF, uh, AFM Santana on, on the bottom of there. That's pretty cool. Okay, so one set of lights, two sets of lights, so two sets of lights, turn signals. Okay. Okay, let's actually hear the engine sound. I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, so there is the engine. I really like this thing. This thing is amazing right here. This is gonna go good with Chellington. Whoa. Turn it 
Starting is very easy in it. Okay, the only thing is I wish you can open up the back door right there so you can put some stuff in the back. And maybe clear out those seats. That would be nice right there. Okay, so that is the AFM Santana 88. Really, really nice mod. Okay, and the next one after that is we got another vehicle. This is the Case IH Puma Tier 4B, which is in medium tractors. It is 179,000, let's see, 21 slots, a base of 225 horsepower. So let's take a look at the options. Rim color, you got uh, standard, black, white, Fitigari, and communal. Uh, design color, standard, red, or black. Main colors, you got standard, metallic, black, silver, Fitigari, and communal. Let's see, Will Brands, you got Michelin. Midas, Trailborg, and Nokian. Michelin, you got standard, wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to standard. Probably gonna be the same thing on these ones. Yes, it looks like it. And then back to Trailborg. Oh, this one also has narrow wheels and twin narrow wheels on that one, so. There is those. Let's see, engine setup. We got the 185, which is 225. We got the 200, which is 245. The 220, which is 260. The 240, which is 270. So we can go up to 270 horsepower for 22,500. You can also put a front loader on it. Uh, let's see, you got also PTO. So with PTO, without. Exhaust grid, no or yes, which puts an exhaust grid onto the pipe. And then there it is right there. Let's take a look at this actually in the game. Okay, and here they both are right here. Let's actually take a look at this one right here, which is the 240, the upgraded one. Okay, so let's see, top speed is 32 miles an hour. Let's see options on that. We got the horn, and then looks like, what is this? Let's see, left stick, over, can open up the door, and then right stick, can open up the back window on that one. Okay, here is the interior, really nice little interior. Let's turn the engine over. Nice engine sounds. Got that like whisper on it. Let's see, 32 miles an hour. Let's be quiet so you can hear it. Okay, so there that is right there. Really nice little tractor. Beacons all work. Lights. Okay, I'm really liking this tractor. Okay, so there is the Case, uh, what is this? Case IH Puma Tier 4B. Okay, let's get to the next mods. Okay, and the next and last regular mod to go over is this right here. This is the Lizard Homemade Plow. It is actually under subsoil, it's not the plow section. It is $5,000, 3.2 working meters. It does require 90 horsepower on that, it is one slot. Okay, so there it is right there, no options for that. So let's actually get into the placeables, which there is quite a few placeables to go over today. Okay, and the first one we got is right here. This is the modular BGA system, which actually comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten things right here, wow. It's a pretty big pack right here, let's see. Uh, 18 slots for that, 19, 22, 18, 19, 14, 13, 14, 13, eight, eight slots right there. Jeez, just a lot right there. Uh, let's see, uh, additional objects with these BGA can be completed in addition, the daily costs are offset by the main module. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you can actually get, let's see, 100 kilowatts, 200. So I believe, let's see, a bunker with 50,000 liter capacity. Oh, so these have bigger capacities. So you can get one that has all the way up to 100,000 liters. So that's pretty nice right there. Let's actually just put one down. So you can actually just put this on your farm and start doing some uh, silage uh, and making some money right there. And I believe that little pipe right there is for your digestate. So there's that. You got the uh, fermenting plants right there. So we can just put that thing right here. I'm gonna run out of money soon. So I need to stop buying this stuff. <laughs> okay, so there is that. Let's take a look at it actually in the game. Let me actually turn this thing off real quick. There we go. So here is the bunker, really nice bunker. Has a display right there. Wow, I like this. And of course you digest it right there. It looks like it is suitable for the manure system too, so that's a plus. And then you have this, which is really nice too. Okay, so that is the modular BGA system. Looks really nice. Okay, the next one we have is right here. This is the large UK chicken shed. Let's see, it is 150,000, holds up to 500 chicken, only three slots, wow. Uh, but let's take a look at this. Let's see. Wow, need a big area for this. All right, so let's just put this one right here. So yeah, that is a pretty big chicken area. 
See, these are kind of like what the chicken houses we have in the United States is like. Uh, you got one and two right here. Does these doors all open? Okay, doesn't look like it. About that door. Can you not enter this thing? Wait a minute, let me get the help window up. Open animal dialogue, so let's open up. The, let's put a few chicken in there. Uh, where's the chicken? There they are right there. But I don't think you can open this. Wow. So this is probably where you put your feed in right here. Uh, and then you probably get your boxes out somewhere. So it looks like, yeah, you cannot go into this chicken house. Uh, let's go right over here. So I don't have any clue where the boxes show up. They might just show up right over here too. So uh, just a little bit disappointed that you can't go in here. But there is that right there. There's the large UK chicken shed. Okay, and the next one after that is we got cow shed, which is 400,000, holds up to 444 cows, 444 cows. Let's see, it's $500 a day. It is 19 slots for this one. Okay, this is, yeah, this looks pretty big too, see? Okay, so here is the cow shed. Okay, so let's go over here. Hey, is that a trailer in the yard? That's pretty cool. Probably straw goes right there. Uh, water right there. Uh, let's see. This is where you get them. So let's get a few real quick. Also try not to run out of any money. That door does not open up. We got food. I like the in inside of this. This looks really cool. Okay, does this... Okay, that's for milk. Does this gate at least open? Yes, it does. That door doesn't open. But you can go in here. And then there is the trailer. Do you actually put your water in? Can you put water in there? I'm just wondering if you can. If you can, that would be amazing. Because look, there is collisions on that. So how cool would it be if you actually put water in there and they actually start drinking from that? Okay, but anyways, over here we have for slurry and then your manure goes right to there. So that is the cow shed right there. We got one more animal place to get to right here which is another chicken coop. This is the open chicken coop, 10 slots, holds up to 400 chickens, let's see, $75 a day. Uh, let's go ahead and place it. There we go. So let's go right over to it. I do like this cow placeable though, it's pretty nice. Okay, so let's go right here. So this is the open one. This is the open chicken coop. Uh, where do you get your chickens at? Maybe right here? Or that might be where your feed or your boxes go. What's this? Okay, here's your chickens. So let's buy a few chickens real quick. So there we go. <laughs> this thing's gonna go. Okay, so your feed goes right there. So that might be for your box. If that's for your boxes, that's a pretty big area for your boxes. Wow. Okay, so there is the open one. We got so many animal placeables on here right now. Okay, let's get to the next placeable. Okay, and the next ones is right here. This is the Modern Farmhouse Pack 1. We got A, B, C. These are 19 slots, 22, 15 slots, $12,000. This is decorative objects right here. So if we go right here, let's place a few real quick. So there's that. Uh, there's that one. Okay, so here are these three. Also, if you're planning on wanting to use these for like your farmhouse, you can. See, there they are right there. Are they the same price? No, they aren't the same price. So if you want to use this as your own house, you're going to have to pay the price. <laughs> okay, but here they are as decorations. Uh, can you go in them? I don't think you can. No, you can't go in them. Okay, but there they are as decorations. Oh, look at that little patio. Okay. So there is that one. The next one is right here. This is the Dairy with Farm Shop. 55,000, 15 slots, $5 a day. And of course, this takes milk. And as you guys can see, dairy with 50% bigger prices. So let's go ahead and buy this real quick. Hopefully I got enough room to... Look at all this. Placeables. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so let's just put that right there real quick. So as you can see, it does try to flatten out the land. So definitely put it on a flat area. So put your milk right there, and I think that's really it to it. Oh, looks like, yeah, you definitely got to make sure your land's flat, because, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, so let's go in, can you go inside of it? Yes, you can, that is cool. Okay, so it looks like a big old thing of cheeses and stuff. And then, looks like it's in German. Okay, but let's see if this is actually in the store. So let's go over here, let's go right there. Uh, let's see, dairy, Hollister, let's see. I don't see it in here. There's agri, bale cell point, biogas, Hollister, 
Manure. Milkland. Okay, I think it is Milkland right there. Okay, let's see. 18069 So you get about $400 bigger than the Hollister plant and uh, $800 bigger than the Agri XJS. So not too bad right there. Okay, we got one more placeable mod to go over. Actually, just one more mod period to go over. Let's get to it. And there it is. Cow statue. Yes, cow statue. $1,000, one slot, $5 a day. And it is a cow statue. So let's go over here, take a look at it real quick. So yeah, there is the cow statue right there. So that is it of the regular mods and placeables for today, but we did get some updates. So let's go over those updates real quick. Okay, and the first update we got for today is for the Camp Pack La Champagne. What did this do? Fixed problems of tipping on the 6021 model, fixed right hydraulic mouse extension on the 8532 model. So that is for the Pack La Champagne. Then we also got an update for the Fent 800 favorite. What did this do? New sounds, improved textures, and new tire configurations on that one. Then another update for the Vulture S series. And what did this do? Let's see, this is actually a pretty big change log right here. Various mistakes fixed, new animation, details and configurations added, color options re-edited and design color option added, two new engine configurations added, the S274 and the S354. Reverse drive is now optional, so the price is reduced for the Vulture twin track. Uh, so yeah, and also a warning, please sell or delete old vehicle before the update on that one. And then we have the Phoenix ITR Runner Edition. What did this do? Let's see, the animation of racing and lowering containers has been adjusted. New colors have been added to the chassis and rim color selection. New color configuration in the lower parts of the cabin. Increased turning radius. And the center of gravity has been adjusted to prevent it from tipping over easily. Then we got one more update to go over and that's the IBAR 100. Change log, new tire configurations, added color configurations, change purchase value, change color settings, change name of wheels, and then the title has been changed. Okay guys, so that is all the, well, mods, all the placeables, all the updates, that is everything for today. Today's schedule after this video will come out, of course, the FS Daily News, and then later on tonight, 8.30 p.m., we're gonna be doing back to live streams and actually we're gonna be on the new map, Bucks County, PA. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. We'll be actually on consoles. Like always, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do like always. Have an all day farmers. Peace.